question we have today is uh, we, we are supposed to determine how high the cloud top is. So the question you can get is determine the altitude of the cloud top given range, tilt angle, beam width, and aircraft altitude. So the range from the uh, aircraft to the cloud, as you can see, is 45 nautical miles. Uh, the tilt angle and this we use the weather radar so we are looking at a question from the weather radar so uh, the uh, tilt angle is given as 3.5 degrees so 3.5 degrees is the tilt angle and you can see the tilt angle is clearly indicated it's the midpoint of that beam uh, you see there are two beams here this one the one that can go on the farthest and the one that goes and passes through on top of the cloud so those are two beams and a half of this and the difference between the top one and the lower one is the bandwidth so a half of it is the uh, half of this beam which is five degrees beam width five degrees a half of it which is 2.5 is the beam width so from here to here is a half beam bandwidth beam width sorry uh, which is given as 2.5 and then the tilt angle is from a half bandwidth point to the straight line beam, which goes directly to the, to the cloud. <clears throat> so that is, uh, mm, what? That is what? what, what so, uh, so for you to get the top of the clouds, you need to find the, uh, the area that you have demarcated as X, which will be gotten from the tilt angle minus the half the beam width yeah so to find the 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 top of cloud actually the difference from where you are to the top of cloud you can use the formula simple formula of the range uh, is equal to the range in nautical miles times the difference between the tilt angle minus the half beam width times 100 yeah so as simple as that so the range you have to be 45 nautical miles times 3.5 times 3.5 minus 2.5 times 100 so the change in the cloud top is given as 4500 nautical miles the change in the cloud top is given as 4500 nautical miles so but remember we started from 335000 height altitude so it's 35,000 altitude plus 4,500 nautical miles to give you the top of the cloud. So, uh, but the altitude, so if you add the two, you get the top of cloud to be 39,500 feet. So alternatively, there is another formula that you can use. So the alternative formula is change in cloud top is given as the turn, which is a, a trigonometric ratio. Uh, turn of the tilt angle minus the beam width times the distance in feet so uh, the tilt angle minus is was 3.5 and half beam width was 2.5 so you get one degree and the distance was 45 degrees if you want one nautical mile is equals to 60 76 feet yeah so turn of one degree times 45 times 60 75 so you almost get something close to the answer which was 35 something so you get, uh, let me just get the answer. So you get 4,772.5 feet, but that's the change in the cloud. Uh, but the level was 35,000. So you add 4,772 to, to that, and it gives you 39,773 feet. So that those two uh, formulas can all be used, but the second one is the most precise. But remember, uh this is just for examination purposes for uh real flight you always have to consult your ops manual and uh, the uh, procedures for your airline thank you